Hi and hello, this is Vinod Kerr from Trader YouTube channel. Today we are going to see one of the easiest machine from Vallab. The name of the machine is Cool. So in this, for privilege escalation, I have done the buffer overflow in the port of 23. It's a dull net. So I have done the basic enumeration using Nmap. I have found three ports, 22, 23 and 80. 23 for SSH and 23 for Telnet. I didn't get any version, but I I get some uh, like verification code. So it leads to a buffer overflow and AD for Apache. And for more enumeration, I go to the web browser. Uh, the landing page is automatically redirect to login.php. So uh, there is a SQL injection for this login page. Later only I have understand. So uh, in GoBuster, I have found two directories like asset and database. So in asset, um, yeah, I get one users like administrator and John Smith. Um, and one more thing in database, I have found one database file, SQL files. I have viewed that file like to user, I have some hash values. So I have decrypted using uh, hash crack. I'm in crack station. I get the password for both the users. So I have login with the user like administrator and this is the one more user this is the faculty and these are the students and yeah this is the dashboard for the other user smith and i have searched the exploit for the student attendance management system version 1.0 so there is a sql injection as well as a remote code execution so this is the sql injection query i have entered that but it is bypassing so sql injection is available and I have view the page, I have so page, I mean view source in this dashboard and one more directory is hidden like index.php site settings. So I have go to the site settings and there is a option called file upload. So I have uh, written all those data and uploaded the direct PHP sh code, shell code. So there is no uh, filtrations like uh no validation of extension header it is allowing all these files so finally i have uploaded the shell and i get the reverse connection and this is the flag.txt for local local user and i have done the privilege escalation here we have two users root and pp pp and one more uh, file like bin it's like accessing access.exe so I have go through that access.dxe files in this directory and get two files access.dxe and function hyphen access.dll so i think it's may lead to a buffer overflow in the port 23 so i have downloaded in my local machine and i have uploaded to my i mean my lab machine and uh, uh, i mean I mean start the applications so it was run in the port 23 the same port which was in the uh, evicting machines so i have enumerated deeper in the port 23 so there is a authentic verification code so i have tried the verification code like 00 e e one e but it's it's give no result so i have done the basic first thing using python script so I have overwritten my EAP using yes and like overwriting the EAP using bs and finding the bad character I have found some of the bad character like uh, 004d, 4f, 5f, 797 e 7f so these are the bad character I have done the mono modules so I have taken this function access.dl and use the ransom cell and the payload generation for windows as well as the linux so currently this is my uh, i mean big uh, lab mission 41 and i get the shell but my i mean i think the payload is working successfully and i have done this uh, payload for the linux and finally i get the root shell from the affecting machine of school so this is the flag so this is the flag.txt and these are the users with credential and a small correction fox also a user with the credentials and i have changed the password so why i have changed the password means 
for housekeeping, housekeeping I have uh, removed the exploit, I mean the reversal. So that's why I have created the new, uh, I'm changed the password and log in again with my new pass, uh, password. So thanks for watching. If you, are, if you would like to support me, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. If you are a new user, I'm welcoming all, all those guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.